folks, it's finally here. Sox Baseball Info, a.k.a. MLB 14, the show info. Yours truly, John Thamil. And coming up on this special abbreviated edition of Axe the Manager, we are going to break down everything that's included in MLB 14, the show. News was released early this morning. I'll bring you all the details, show you the screenshots coming up on Axe the Manager. It's time for me to answer your questions. And hello to all of you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a very special edition of Axe the Manager here on WONUPN5. Yours truly, Jonathan Rios. Uh, I want to apologize for those who were expecting to watch Axe the Manager last Friday. I was under the weather, but I am now 100%. Uh, forgive me with the hat and the bearded look. It is winter, and there is no heat coming in my house, unfortunately. And we're having actually, we're in the middle of a snow. I don't know if I could actually, let me see if I could show you guys what's going on. But it is literally snowing here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, New York. This is outside my window. So let me get this webcam all set here. Hopefully I didn't screw anything up. Okay, we're good here. So there's no heat coming in the house. It's almost, I guess, in the 20s right now in New York City. That's why I'm wearing my hat because it is freezing. But forget about the freezing. Make believe it's spring because baseball... It's about to begin, and if you're an MLB 14, the show person, baseball is just around the corner. If you're a PS3 owner, baseball is just around the corner sooner. If you're a PS4 owner, you're going to have to wait till mid-spring. Why? Well, news has just come out this morning, and we've been waiting for this kind of news for a very long time. MLB 14, the show, released screenshots of their games, information, and the release date. We will start off with the release date. For the PS3 version and the Vita version of MLB 14, the show, the game will be released April 1st, 2014. Now, I'm going to get the game. There's no question about it. But that will take an effect on our schedule, which we'll talk about, our WN YouTube uh, Network game casting schedule, which we'll talk about later on. For PS4 version of MLB 14, the show games, I'm, hearing, I'm seeing a lot of complaints on the PlayStation's uh, YouTube Facebook page. And their YouTube channel, and also in different forums, saying they're upset. But what do you want P PlayStation to do and Sony to do? Do you want them to give you a crappy game with all the bugs and stuff? To me, it's the right decision. It's a bummer for those who bought PS4 game uh, console that the game will be the will be released on May. But the fact of the matter is, they still got to try to get the kinks out, and they may be uh, you know they may be adding more stuff to it. Uh, we have not heard anything about classic stadiums or classic uniforms on the PS4 version. I would have to believe that the classic stadiums and the classic uniforms will be in the PS3 version because the PS3 version of the game has been around for a long time and so have the classic stadiums. So I don't see a change on that. We have not heard anything about any classic stadiums for MLB 14 to show PS4 version. Uh, again, I would have to expect it would be in the PS3 and the Vita version because it's been there for a while. But what we're hearing is that Sony built this all 30 stadiums from the ground up. Now, we're gonna, I'm going to read a couple of articles to you. This one comes from Eddie Mankiewicz of GameSpot.com. And they released a bunch of, uh, of uh, screen uh, uh, shots that you're seeing on your screen right now. Uh, it shows Mike Napoli's beard. It's, it looks human. But on the PS3 version, which you see in the bottom, it looks like a, a 5 o'clock shadow, a beard gone wrong. But it still looks great to me. Now, in MLB 14, the show, they've added some notable features. Number one, quick count mode created to get you through a full 9 in the game. I'm not going to do that. And it has to do it if you've got nothing else better to do in 30 minutes. Year-to-year -year save system, which I am so happy with. This year-to-year -year save systems that will allow you to carry over your saves to next year's game. Now, I've been playing MLB uh, the show since 2010 game. Now I have been playing MLB uh, the show since 2010 since they changed up the broadcasting presentation. In other words, the true broadcast cameras. You know when you hit a home run and the camera actually follows it like you're watching it. I've been buying the game and playing the game since then. You're seeing some of the highlights on the screen. I need this is great. 
that you're able to do year-to-year -year saves on this on on system that allows you to carry over your saves to the next game, and it's good for PS3, PS4, and PS Vita. To me, that is a spectacular addition to MLB The Show, and you wonder why MLB The Show has so much respect now. And now, let's say, for example, you're tired of playing MLB uh, uh, MLB 14 on PS3. You could transfer all your stuff to the PS4. Let's say, for example, you can't buy a PS4, and you're going to stick with the PS3 for the next couple of years. You could transfer this year's MLB 14 game to show to next year's MLB 15 to show when it comes out on PS3 or even PS4. To me, this is great because... I'm a type of person that hates to start over. Now I'm going to add some additions. I'm going to add. I decided to add one more addition. I'll tell you about my team. What I plan to do this year on Sox baseball for New York. Also, evolution of Road to the Show mode, and uh, we'll hope to hear some details on that. Community challenges, including moments from history and the present alike. Universal profile system that tracks players' tendencies, and of course. What everybody's been talking about is the online franchise mode that features multi-season play. This is going to be one hell of a damn game. There's no question about it. Is it worth the delay? It's sure debate. To me, it is. If you're a PS4 guy. If I'm a PS3 guy, and I always expect to get MLB The Show in March. Obviously, it's not going to happen this year. It's going to be a delay because not only is the PS4 going to be big, but the PS3, they're going to change some stuff too. They're going to update some stuff, okay? And, and we were hearing that they weren't going to update nothing. But they're going to update a lot of things. And we're going to see what happens along the way. It's going to be interesting to see how the PS3 and the PS4 versions do. Um, it seems like they put more effort in the PS3 version uh, because they already came out with a, uh, a, a trailer called PS3 Baseball is Better. It looks like they added more oomph to it, it looks like, which it makes sense. The PS4... Uh, we know what it looks like. We just haven't seen any videos. We've just seen only screenshots. Now, why did it take so long? Well, add the factors to it. 2K Sports' MLB 2K series is gone, which means it only affects PS loyalers that like the game. It also affects Xbox owners because Xbox won't have a baseball game. Of course, what we're hearing is MLB has revived the long dormanted RBI baseball series. And it's supposed to come out in the spring on all game platforms. But I guess they didn't feel any pressure, any competition. And whether you're a video game sports fan or any video game guy like I am, you like competition. You know, but uh, obviously, the MLB The Show is not worried about that. They've been on top for a very long time. There's no question about it. And it's going to continue. Now, as for us here at W on YouTube, this changes with the now with the uh, launch date of the PS3 version, which I'm getting. I'm not, I don't plan to get the PS4 anytime soon. And if I ever did, I would have to try to figure out how I'm going to transfer the game casters to here the computer because I don't have the capture card. I would have to get, I guess, some kind of converter stuff, and maybe you'll be able to see the games on Letterbox. I'm not sure. But uh, when that time comes, which will probably be not any time soon, probably in 2017, I would think. Hopefully things are better back then. We shall see. But now with the release dates released for the PS3 version of MLB 14 to show, this will affect our WN YouTube networks tremendously. Uh, instead of having a March 31st opening day, we will officially open our game casting cast schedule April 2nd. April 2nd. Now, April 2nd, in real life, it's supposed to be a game, but it's the second game. That's the goal, and it will! Just say goodbye! It'll be the very first game of the season, and it'll be our very first game on the NBA 5 that we win YouTube Network. It'll be Minnesota versus the Sox. It's going to be a 1 p.m. first pitch game uploading time slot for us on UPN 5. April 2nd, 1 o'clock, against the Minnesota Twins, New York White Sox versus Minnesota. And not only that, we are going to have a special preview show before we upload that. Uh, I believe it's going to be the, either the night before or the morning before the game. It's going to be called Sox 14, Fasten Your Seatbelts. Uh, me and my, my partner, Jackie, we're thinking about filming some of that at Heritage Field near the New Yankee Stadium. There's a facade. You're seeing it on your screen right now. Uh, we are thinking about doing some stuff there. So we're going all in this year. We're going to begin with Sox 14, Fasten Your Seatbelts, the preview show. And we are going to give you the Sox and the Twins starting not March 31st, but April 2nd. The first of our 74 games on WNU2 Networks. We're still trying to figure out 
the 550 WON radio situation. Um, and we'll talk about that online radio station tomorrow on the regular edition of Axe the Manager. Uh, we, we, we're still up in the air with that. We do have a couple of games scheduled for that, but we'll, I'll bring it into perspective tomorrow on Axe the Manager. But uh, I've seen the game. I've seen the, the previews. I've seen the discussions. It looks tremendous, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of complaints about the game being delayed. I mean, that's transferring onto a new system, folks. You guys got to be patient. I'm an MLB The Show guy. There's no question about it, but patience is a virtue. Now, I almost lost my patience, too, a couple of weeks ago. But, of course, this week we were hearing news that MLB and Sony was going to announce something. Well, they did. Today's the day, but, of course, you can't satisfy. For me... I ain't buying no PS4 anytime soon. I got my PS3. I love it. I get to watch my videos on it. I get to watch my MP4 uh, P4, uh, files on it. I get to add music to it, which that's why I love the show because you're able to add music to it, especially if you're a PS3 guy. For PS4, you can't do that, which is a bummer. Maybe they'll add it, and when they do, then I'll buy it. Again, um, you know, patience is a virtue. We've all been patient. The day came, February 13th. And we got our news, yet people are not satisfied. I'm satisfied. April 1st, a day for me to prepare and get ready and give you all the MLB The Show stuff that we can possibly give you. So, as we close out this special short edition of Ask the Manager, we want to tell you that March uh, 31st, uh, no game because the game is not out. So, with the game coming out April 1st, the March 31st game will be pushed back push forward to April 2nd at 1 o'clock, which means some things are going to be pushed back. We we'll probably won't go back to our regular schedule until April 15th, April 14th, I would think, or April 15th. It, it, we'll see what happens. Other than that, um, with now the MLB 14, the show coming out April 1st, that means we'll do no spring training games uh, on WNU2 Networks. We were planning to do four this year, but due to the delay of the release of the game and also the April 1st release, we're just going to jump right into the... Um, the season, but we will have a preview show called Four, uh, Sox 14 Fasten Your Seatbelts. That'll be on April 2nd, and I'll be right before the game, so we should be good with that. So that's going to do it for this short edition of Axe the Manager. Uh, leave your comments down below about if you're excited with MLB the show. What do you think they should do? What do you expect? I'll, I'll see if I can answer it between tomorrow's show and next week's show. Leave your comment right here. And I'll read it, and I'll respond to your questions on uh, MLB 13, the show, and everything else. And, of course, our sock coverage and everything else. If you want questions and what we're going to cover, uh, leave your comment right here, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. So that's going to do it for this abbreviated edition of Ask the Manager. This is yours, truly, Jonathan Mills. Stay cool, stay warm, stay inside if you're in New York. If not, have a good day, everybody.